Yum, yum! Hello everyone, Steve White here for Pixel Fondue. One of the greatest concepting tools in my tool set has to be using Dynamesh in ZBrush. Dynamesh allows you unlimited freedom in sculpting while keeping an even density of polygons over the surface of your object. It's important to understand how the Dynamesh works to get the most out of it. So here's an important thing to keep in mind while working with Dynamesh in ZBrush. One issue you may run into when working with Dynamesh and ZBrush has to do with the Dynamesh resolution. If we take a look at the Dynamesh wireframe here in our model, you can see that while it's a decent working resolution, there's not enough here to clearly define some of the finer details on the mesh. But if we look here under the Dynamesh properties, you can see I'm already at a fairly high resolution, and no matter how much I seem to increase the density, I don't really see much difference in the overall density on the mesh itself. So the reason for this has to do with your object scale being too small in ZBrush. If we go down to the deformation panel, let's try increasing the size of the mesh. Now if you have other subtools such as eyes and hair like on this model, each time you run a size operation on your, on your base object, you'll want to use the repeat to other functions down here at the bottom of the deformation panel. So let's scale that up three or four times. Now let's go back to our Dynamesh tab, and I'm going to lower the Dynamesh setting uh, to something around, say, 400 or so, and try to run Dynamesh again. So now you can see we're getting a much higher density at lower values. So this gives you more room to go up. So kind of to explain why this works, let's take a look in Moto for a demonstration. So Dynamesh works by projecting a grid of quad polygons of a certain resolution over your model. So similar to the way cube projection works in UV mapping. So here we have the same object in Moto in two different scales. And then in a foreground layer, we have two grids, both with the same resolution of polygons. Each time you run a resolution Dynamesh, it's essentially projecting this grid of polygons to all sides of your model. So let's uh, select these polygons. And I'm going to use a move tool and we're going to project these grids onto the surface of our model. So I'm going to set a mesh background constraint and I'm going to turn that to vector. And now if we push that onto our model and now we take a look at the, the scale of those, those grids in comparison to the actual model itself, you can see that the larger model has much smaller squares in relative, you know, relative to its size versus the smaller model, which has larger polygons. So when you're working with Dynamesh and ZBrush, just keep the scale of your object in mind. Yum, yum!